everybody and welcome to our Space Marine Codex review. I'm Steve, this is Ben, you're up, watching guys? Mount Miniatures, and we have a new Space Marine Codex. Thank yep. you Games Workshop for giving it to us early so we can do this video. Uh, ben has not yet had a chance to play against this book or with it. Yep. I have played with it once. I have ideas. Yeah. Yeah. I I've been, I've been flipping through the little book a little bit while Steve's been prepping stuff for the the episode, but uh, there's some interesting stuff in here. I am, okay, so I, I'm trying to decide how I want to like express my feelings because I'm not very good at the words. <laughs> the wording? The words and stuff don't come easy to Steve. That's cool. I think I really like this book. I'm nervous about a few things, but more but more of a conditioning from Games Workshop. So, um, Just the first thing... increases, right? Just well, I like where the points are sitting for a lot of things. <laughs> but uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the Oath of Moment change. This is nothing new. You all know this coming into this book. Yeah. I think... Okay, GW, Ultimate, this, was, this was in GW community. Yeah. Yeah. So Oath of Moment no longer uh, re-roll re -roll your wounds on your Oath target. Now, I, I think the general consensus of the opinion on that was, well, let's wait and see. Not the general consensus, but I hear this a lot. Let's wait and see what the, the detachments are like to see yeah. if it... I never liked that argument. I thought that was a bad argument because... All detachments should be equal. That being what I mean is like Gladius should still be a very viable detachment, and it is. Um, so I don't like that argument. That being said, I don't think it's a necessarily a bad thing that Oath is nerfed. So I think the overall arguments on both sides of it are in the casual gaming room, mm -hmm. it's better that Oath isn't as strong as it was. Fair. But in the competitive scene, which neither one of us really get involved with, um, the Space Marines weren't like dominating competitively anyway, and now they just got straight up nerfed. But were they not dominating because certain armies were way too strong? Were they just not okay, able well, to get over that threshold? So uh, if that's the argument, the armies that were way too strong, Eldar, didn't get hit enough. And now other armies, like, because everybody's placing nowadays, right? Uh, uh, yeah, it's Botan like, and Tau shot way up. Now. They, they shot way up, and we'll, we'll see the first set of numbers. I'm assuming uh, Tau and Votan are going to do better than Space Marines on average. Votan apparently just like skyrocketed. When I mean, everything is dirt cheap, right? Uh, so yep. it, 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 all we're saying is way too early. Wait in the comments below. Um, are you upset that uh, Oath is nerfed? But I mean, there's there's more information to look at here, right? The, there is, and there's a there's a lot of other ways to play the army. So if you had units that you weren't using because they just weren't efficient with the way Oath and Gladius worked. Now you have other ways, you have other angles to come at the armies with. Interesting. Um, well, let's get into the attachments. Oh, oh yeah. actually, before the attachments, yes. I want to point out that there are a number, there's no way I caught them all. There are a number of things that have minor tweaks here and there. Um, yeah. I think the best one I want to point out, which is coming to play for a lot of things, is this one. Dresser squad? Weapon skill three. Weapon skill three? They were, they were four. Oh, so they're like, so the, the, now the, 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 the ones are fighty terminators, fighty prime yeah, Now the guys that are really good at shooting are really good at fighting too. Yeah. So terminators, uh, weapon skill three. Uh, Terminator the power fist is three attacks, weapon skill three. It's same thing. Yeah. But these guys were weapon skill four, twin linked. Now they're oh, weapon skill. No, they're still twin linked. Now they're weapon skill oh. three, twin linked. So they're fighting. Uh, aggressors yeah, are already really good. Fist. Yes, aggressors are already really good. It is. It is little things like that. Have you have you changed the range weapon you would take on them? Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to the attachments. No, okay, fair enough. Because there is, uh, you know, let's shoot through. Let's shoot through. Um, okay. Let's shoot through War Scrolls first, then, because I think I think the bulk of our conversation is going to be in detachments. Um, a lot of things were taken out of this book. A lot of things well, are let's, gone. Let's talk about Bobby G. For he's the biggest thing. Anything changed with him? All right, if you want to go there? Oh God, I don't want to talk about him yet. I'm actually very disappointed with him, actually. Really? So, um, no, he's relatively unchanged. The best of my understanding or recollection, right? Okay. But we'll talk about the fact that... Oh, am I not centered? Sorry, guys, fix the book. Uh, he's 380 points. At the time I'm recording this video, we have to use the points from the last data slate. If when this book uh... comes out live for everybody and they change the points again, great. Um, is Bobby G expensive because he can ult the moment two things with full reroll to hit, reroll to wound? Because I'm not paying 380 points for this stat line and his ult, ult moment isn't as good as it was. Uh, I'm not paying 380 points for the ability to maybe do free strategy within 12 when it's only battle tactics. You know a lot of battle tactics are really good for Space Marines. Yeah, um, they are. For his survivability, I'd rather spend the points on Terminators. For his offensive output, I'd rather spend the money on Terminators. Not that he's bad. Uh, he's 380 points. I don't like where Bobby G is sitting. What Terminators? Around 30 points each? 
Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, 190 for five. So what's that? Uh, 38. No. 190 for five? 38 points a model. Is it 38? Yeah. Oh, because they're almost 40 points a model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just... It, it, I don't think... Okay, let me rephrase. Uh, if you put Bobby G on the table, you, he's going to do work for you. He's going to be fine. Absolutely fine. From a competitive standpoint, in one, my opinion, almost means nothing competitive because I play at mini wargaming. I play at Mount Miniatures. I play at Casuals, and I play... I goof around all day. Yeah. I'm not a tournament player, but I can understand mathematics and numbers. He doesn't quite add up to 380 points for me anymore. No. No, I not that he's in this book, but Johnson is the same points. He's worth three eighty. So it was one hundred ninety for five. One ninety for five, yeah. So he's exactly the cost of ten terminators. Yeah, I'd rather have ten terminators. Ten terminators are gonna be far more impactful That's for a me lot in the game. Of attacks. Yeah, That's yeah. Awful. He's and he's not a he's not a slow shot fighter. I mean, like his stats, uh, you, you know what they are. I mean, he's been over, the, the the days full for him is pretty much out there for free still, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Um, yeah, I'm not liking him only because the point cost and and the point cost discussion isn't really relevant right now because we don't know if they're going to change i know there's points at the back of the book i, I was just going to check to see if assault terminators and uh standard terminators are the same doesn't there well, the points are you can't use these so no i just here. want to see if the points were the same it, 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 it prints in the book tells you right away like these things are no longer valid like you use the ones that are in like the not chapter proof but chapter. do they actually differentiate the squads yes they are assault terminators and, and terminators so they're alphabetical so you look at it, assault terminators are in this book not that it matters Oh, the ancient term. Wait. Right. No, it's terminated with assault weapons, I bet you. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Because that's why I couldn't find it. Yeah. Tech Marine, terminated with assault weapons, 195 in this book. Uh, terminated squads are 200 in this book. Whereas, you have the app? There, I, yeah, get I, my, the I app. get the full note, but the, the points but, are correct. But, yeah, the points aren't the same, but they are. So, if I were to assume this, I would assume uh, terminated assault squad would be cheaper than the standard terminator squad because it's cheaper here. Well, if that's relevant, I'll look it up for you. <laughs> All right. I don't know what point you're making, though. What, 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 what are you I, I'm to just say? thinking about, like, how many attacks with what. Like, Assault Terminator is going to have, what, claws or hammers? I think hammers. I'm not sure. I, I like both, but I, whereas, think, I think hammers are... Whereas in, Terminators are going to have power fists and a little bit of shooting. Terminators. This is a bit of order. For more points, would you take the kind of shooting that a regular Terminator squad would have? I I like the extra wound from the shield, but then the shooting is pretty good, too. So I think I think both... Sorry, I'm just slowing down here. Bear with us, everybody. I'll get you. I'll get you. We'll, we'll get it. Terminator Assault Squad. Uh, 205 for the Assault Squad, for the Assault Weapons. Oh, okay. A 190 for the... Uh, so it's weapons. reversed in here. No, it is... So the Assault the assault Terminators are cheaper here. No, all the way around. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Not that this, not that this matters. Move on. Not that this matters. No, I was, yeah. I was just wondering. So, like, yeah. So I, you would think the extra wound and the more potential damage in melee... Would would be why you'd rather take assault terminators over regular terminators. Okay, the interesting thing is I don't want to. Okay, so you're asking the right questions, and I, I, I what I don't want to do is say what I'm about to say. I want to come back to that because it's relevant when I get to one of the attacks I want to talk about. Fair enough. But yeah, I know it, it's very ominous, and we'll get there. Um, I'm gonna shoot through this. I love Ural Ventress for Ultramarines. Allow me to deep strike units. Uh, what what's to talk about name characters? characters. Nothing. I don't want to talk about characters here at all. Nothing that stands out to me. Let's just flip through. Where's the jumpy boys? Everybody. Uh, wants to I'm, I'm going to move to the new the new things, right? Oh, yeah. company heroes. Okay. So when you buy this box, it's a squad, right? It's a squad. Um, it's a squad of four models. Right. But the box comes with five models. It comes with the captain. Oh, okay. So you, you build your captain. Um, I like this squad. I didn't at first. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's going to be. Running your game today. No. No. I don't have it done yet. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be about 100 points to the squad. It hands out, um, a, where is it? Um, as long as the character is leading the unit, they're minus one to wound. It's not a bad thing. So today I had in a, in a I game. Is four. What, I had a game today where I bought, I had Uriel Ventress in a list just to give aggressors the ability to deep strike. But then I bought a squad of a Stern Guard just for somebody, for your, your, the babysit Uriel. Yeah. Uh, we could have had them painted, whereas this, I would have rather had this for sure. Yeah. This squad would have been better for, for babysitting. Cool little abilities character. it gives you. Now, am I going to put this, these guys in a typical list uh, other than like a, other than a special named character babysitter? Because mm -hmm. I want Uriel to handle the deep strike. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying it's a bad unit, but I mean, it, it just minds. It, it's got a the Mastercraft heavy bolter, three damage heavy bolter. They got for Durlers. For Durlers, yeah. <laughs> I mean, three, <laughs> they're hitting on threes and they're three damage. It's not nothing. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this squad. I think every Space Marine army should paint this squad. Have it in their collection. Yeah. How often do you use it? Maybe more than you think. But um, assault intercessor squads. I don't know how many points they're gonna be. Let's see. Let's see how many points. Okay, well, what, they get the hammer of wrath. 
Yep. And... Sorry, let me see, they, they see my screen. I'm going to see Assault Inter Sensors. Assault... I want jump packs. This book says they're 90 points for five. We don't know how they're much they're going to They're the exact be. same cost as regular ones here. Well, okay, but they have different rules, right? Regular intercessors re-roll once to wound. They also move 12 inches. Well, no, re regular intercessors re-roll once to wound, but okay. they have full re-rolls to wound when the target's on an objective. Okay, but they're getting shot on the battlefield more more because they're taking longer to get to the target. Not necessarily. We'll get to that one of the attachments. <laughs> But how so, many times um, are you gonna say that? The assault intercessors, they're gonna score more, they're gonna move more, they're gonna be they're gonna hide more, they're gonna uh do hammer of wrath mortal wounds, but they're not gonna re-roll to wounds. So I do think both are gonna be acceptable choices. Well, I have to use certain detachments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then they get to re-roll the wound. Um what about the jump character? Would he be back? Jump captain? Okay, yeah. so and uh, lieutenant, isn't it? Isn't there no, one? there is no one, and we oh. stay lieutenant on this channel. Why? We're not that close. To the we order. say lieutenant on the channel. You can say lieutenant, but you Benjamin, can be as wrong as you want. Ex military all the time. Benjamin. Most of the world's is lieutenant. Okay, um, okay, so we have typical captain stats. Uh, he can have a relic shield. The kit does not come with a relic shield. I think he can have a thunder hammer. The kit does not come with a thunder hammer, but we have one kitted up. That's okay. I got all sorts of space Oh, things. the primary keyword's gone. It's the new tactic is keyword. Everything that used to have primary keyword is basically a tactic is keyword. Uh, comes yeah, to play for vehicles. A lot of things, don't say that word. A lot of things are uh, gone from this book. A lot of firstborn stuff. Uh, tactical Marines are still in the book. Um, Devastators are still in this book, but we'll show you all that. Scouts are changed. Scouts are, yeah, scouts are changed because the kit's changed. Because what's, what's nope. his ability compared to a regular captain? He's got the uh, plus one strength. And, oh, it's just one and right strength. to battle, yeah. Okay. So he hands up plus one. He hands up blood angels plus one strength on the charge. So then you could just take Blood Angels with Advance and Charge. I don't, I'm going to paint him because King's Workshop sent me one. You're going to paint him as Space Wolf, right? No. Oh, I got one and painted up as Space Wolf for you already. Aww. Yeah, not, yeah. Well, I had the Mini War, so I, I have my book and you have Mini War Games book. Yes. But um, I had all the Mini War Games Space Marines painted up as Space Wolves because you and Luke are going to use them. Yeah. And I'll do all mine as Ultramarines. Fair enough. Don't worry, my Dark Angels are coming. I'll get them done too. Ugh. They don't like jump packs. <laughs> I have, I have a lot of jump packs. And bikes. So I have, I have. Ooh, Dark Angel bikes with Advance. We'll get to that. Ooh. No, bikes are gone. What? There are no bikes in this book. Oh yeah, but they'll be your the Dark Angels Codex is coming out in less than a year. Are they gonna get new bikes? Out new bikes? Outriders are in this codex? Yeah. Not space cream bikers. No, but you can oh, still oh, use the Dark Angels index. Yeah, but there's there are no bikes in the Dark Angels Index. They use there's space no black knights? Bike. Black knights are in the Dark Angels Index. Okay. So we use black knights, but actual space cream bikers are gone. Interdash. All my space cream bikers, I have 30 of them, gone. My tack bikes, gone. My land speeder typhoons, gone. Just put them on uh, big bases? Yeah, you could. Make them well, uh, uh, what, what, I was, what I was about to say was I have, I have uh, 20 firstborn marines on jump packs. I can just use them. I'll just use them as... Are they the same base size? Yeah. Yeah. They're oh, 32 mil. Yeah. So the, I have my dark angels. I have... I have 30 assault, 20 or 30, 20 assault intercessors. I have uh, Space Wolf Sky Claws. For now, when your book comes out, we'll see what happens differently, right? Yeah, that'll be a while. Um, <laughs> Curse Infiltrator is still great. Tactical Squad's here. Uh, the thing with the Tactical Squad is I, I didn't think this was going to be a problem, but I, I talked to a guest I had this that's week. All, that's a lot of stuff. Well, it's the, all the weapons you can uh, make, right? So there, it's a 10 man squad now. It's not a 5 man squad anymore. You get it by 10. Um, if you take a Razorback, can you split them? Probably, I'm almost certain that you can. Uh, there's probably a thing in here: combat squads. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't combated. Oh, but, you just combat squad. But what if you, what if you only had five tactical marines in your collection? You only bought five. You bought a. They used, sold them in boxes of five. Well, in years ago they did, or other sides too. But maybe you only painted five. You sold the other five off. You only have five in your collection. You have now none because they're minimum squads of ten. Well, see, these, that's not that big a deal. But have, intercessors, they're the other half of the squad. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did have a guest who actually had that problem. It was weird. I'm like, oh, crap. I didn't even think that was actually going to be a thing. Okay, scout squads. No longer are the scouts, uh, scout squads and scout snipers. It's just scout squad. Yeah, and they only get how many sniper rifles? One in five. I don't like that. But, I mean, scout. infiltrate, scout six. The ability to come off the table. You want to be down This squad is... They have to be at the edge? Uh, No, six feet from enemy walls. No, six inches away from enemy walls. Yes. They just... This squad is, I think, I don't have any from my Ultramarines. I plan on putting at least, buying at least three of them when they come out as a new kit. I think they're just, they, they play the game so well. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with the scouts. Uh, Vanguard Vets, I hate them. Hate them so much. Vanguard Vets jump packs? 
That's the always the they always had jump axe. Oh, I just don't like the the boring weapons. Mm, yeah, well, that's, they're bad. Well, they're that's, that's the same with um, that's Wolf Guard. All the Wolf Guard models Fair. have. Um, ancient weapons. Steering Guard Veteran, there's a new plastic kit, and they're pure pretty. They come with a new Pyre Cannon, one in five made Pyre Cannon. Yeah. It's a heavy flamer with plus one strength. They have Primera Scale guys with oh, plus plus helmets, one. right? What's that? Isn't the... Aren't they... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Primera Scale with first one helmets. Well, yeah, yeah. Primera the Tacticus keyword. Tacticus. <laughs> Tactical. Furnace are cool. Aggressors are ready to point out their plus one weapon skill. Amazing. Reavers are still garbage to me. I don't know. They move faster than fly. Yep, that's true. They have the grab. That's that's not new to this book. I don't want to talk about that stupidity. <laughs> well, hold on. Does it still if, do the if thing? You, if you have infantry with fly, you lose movement going over a ruin because you don't have to go over it. Your infantry, you can move right through it. Yeah, I would assume so. You have the infantry keyword. There you go. All right, fine. Moving on. But like flying vehicles and stuff like that, like all your repulsors and stuff, can't just like I'm going over the terrain. Get out of here. I had to. I'll make sure I put timestamps in the the video below because most people want to jump right to the detachments. Suppressor squad. Same thing. They're still plus skill four plus. Yeah, same thing. About that. Uh, same, 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 same. They still get these guys. Still give plus one to hit or yeah, like, like plus one to wound. Uh, don't get cover. Plus one AP. Yep. Yeah, it's still I, stuff. I think I'm surprised we don't see those more. I think those are really. I think it's just people didn't have them yet. Fair and enough. And I have to buy them. Um, okay, I I just ordered four of these from. Oh uh, no! I did. I ordered four of these from Tista. Uh, Tista, eh? Yeah. Well, the only one they had, had four in stock. I'll take all four. I'll take so all four. I think the fire strike servo turrets are overpriced, point wise. Um, there's nothing to talk about here. I just want to point out I'm the idiot who bought four. When we get to one of the attacks, so if you're I'll trying to buy it. those from Tista minis right now. I already bought them. It's Steve's fault. I'll talk. I'll tell you why I I bought them when we get to the attachments. Oof. Overwatch on a four plus though. Yeah, sure. Uh, tanks, great. Um, weirdly enough, I think these are less valuable now because nobody has any in stock. I think Predators are actually pretty dang good. Yeah? Okay, so what, uh, what are the points of a Predator? Why don't you tell them what the Predator does right now? I'm gonna tell you okay, the Okay, so the Predator gets, uh, each time model uh, makes a range attack that targets an infantry unit, improve the AP by one. Infantry. So they're 130 points. Okay, and then there's the Annihilator. Uh, range attack made by this model allocated a monster or vehicle reroll. So reroll damage rolls of one. Yeah. Or increase AP by one. So, so the I AP don't by know. one. The auto cannon is AP one. It'll go up to AP two. Yeah. I don't think I care about the predator dialer. And not a whole lot changed. I don't think anything's changed here. But I want to point out. I think that we, we've been sleeping on predator destructors. 130 points. Toughness 10. 11 wounds. Three up save. Uh, it'll be good in some detachments as well. But I mean having. Um, heavy up to six, AP two. Having up to six auto cannon attacks that are AP two against heavy infantry and uh, heavy bolters that are AP two against heavy infantry. Hunter killer, that's AP four. Sure, that too. <laughs> I think a couple of predators in my list for 130 points apiece is something we've all been sleeping on, everybody. Storm bolter, but that's one. Yep, that's a thing. That's true. Actually. The new meta has been set. <laughs> I, I just think, yeah, I, I want to. See, I want. I want to get more. I want to get predators. I don't have any in stock. Maybe has any predators to sell. Uh, Vindicators I like, but that's a whole separate story. They are expensive. Nothing to talk about Land Raiders. They are amazingly broken. Um, don't want to talk about... Okay, so let's compare that anti-infantry predator to yes. the Gladiator Reaper then. Yep. Okay, so instead of that extra AP, you get sustained hits two when targeting. Yeah, but that's for light infantry, and we don't have a problem killing light infantry, in my opinion. Uh, the Predator deals with heavy... The Predator deals with other Space Marines, which I think we're seeing abundance for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's my that's my thing. But that's that's not really new. Actually, something I was like when I was really pouring over this book, I'm like, oh, I think I'm sleeping on predators. Uh, flyers, I still don't care about. Hammerfall bunker, I still don't care about. All right, we talked about all the data sheets. Um, did we talk about all the new things? We covered all the new ones, right? Yeah. Well, all the new, we had, mean, no, no, no. All the new all the new kits. Uh, the new Terminator kit, nothing to talk about. Um, the the Stern company guard, heroes, company heroes, heroes, jump pack. Captain, yeah, okay, we talked about it all. Back. And we talked about all the moment. So let's do the first detachment yeah. that's after Gladius, because that's Gladius. Oh, which, by the way, I still think is probably one of the... I think this is the second best detachment in the book. Think so? My opinion, way on yours. You, you might have a different opinion. Okay, so I, I think it is the... Pro okay, I will agree with you for any Codex-compliant Marine chapter. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. We'll get to the discussion about that afterwards. So we all know Gladius Strike Force. So what would you say the... Okay, so... Let's go, the, the next thing we'll do is mm -hmm. we'll go to, we'll start off with what you think is the best attachment. And then we'll talk about well, You want to start there? Yeah, we'll start there. And then I want to talk about, with the okay. other attachments, I want to talk about where they are good. Yep. 
Here you go, everybody. Definitively the best attachment. According to Steve. Yeah, fair. Okay, so <laughs> Firestorm Assault Force. Close range eradication. Range weapons equipped by uh, Adeptus Asardi's models from your army have the assault ability. Every weapon has the assault weapon. Uh, oh, keyword. And each time an attack made with such a weapon targets a unit within 12 inches, add one to the strength, which will often be plus one to wound. Against uh, enough, yeah. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, because if you're, if you're targeting Space Marines with bolters, plus one to wound, if, essentially against Space if Marines. If you just gave me... And it's at rapid fire. Everything can advance and charge. Everything can advance and do actions. Um, yeah, I, I that's amazing on so. I get within twenty four inches of the last cannon. You know how mobile and fast that can be. Strength thirteen last cannons. Why not? If you get the twelve, yeah. Yeah, well, I jumped down out of a drop pod. Yeah. Or you're playing all screens and you're this allows you to deep strike. Um, Strength ten <laughs> melt the guns. Now, now, we did lose reroll to wound on our oath target. You take a lot of twiddling weapons problem for all. All right, we have assault. If you're running all the time, everything's got assault. You're going to get within those 12 inches a lot faster. More than I thought after the one game I played, but that's I don't want to judge everything off of one game. Does the impulse just let you disembark after advancing? Sure does. Wait, there's even more. There's even more we get to that because most of the time I want to stay in. So most of the time I want to stay in my impulser, but um, let's actually before we get to the stratagems, which I think are some of the best ones in the book, but again. Actually, for my playstyle, this is actually my playstyle detachment through and through. Yeah. It's mobile and shooty. I yeah. love mobile and shooty. Yeah. It's Eldar of Space Marines. Okay. Uh, Champion Humanity, Tacticus model only. While the bear is leading a unit, they can ignore any or all modifiers to the characteristics uh, or tests. Okay, so Excluding... explain that to me. Dumb that down a little bit because that's, that's saying a lot of stuff while saying va vaguely nothing. Uh, doesn't Death Guard have an aura of minus one toughness? Doesn't work on that guy. Okay, and the unit he's attached to, then, I would assume? Correct. Okay, cover. So this says, excluding modifiers to saving throw. So cover would still work. It says, but may, yeah, because it it's a saving throw modifier. Stealth would not work. It's a saving... It's a... Uh... It's minus one to hit for stealth. If you're outside yeah. 12 yeah, inches. Yeah, cover... So you ignore stealth. The, the champion humanity ignores stealth. And you ignore modifiers put on you as well. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know if you want to take it. The Death Guard one, I actually hadn't even thought of that. That's yeah. interesting. It's not for me. Um, I'll just move away from things like Death Guard. That, but it's not for me. I'm not saying you're not going to use it. I, you just agreed with me, but I actually like the next one. Um, War-Tempered Artifice. Add three to the strength of one of your weapons. Uh, strength 11 Power Fist. You said you want to move fast and shoot things. Sometimes you got to get out and punch things. Uh, I guess you got to get out and punch Now that aggressors are weapon skill three, I'm going to get out and punch things all the time. So what do you think the best... You think uh, Thunder Hammer's probably the best place for that? Uh, no, I don't like Thunder Hammer's hit on fours. Uh, we have three for characters. Uh, power Fist. Power Fist? Strength 11, Power Fist. Yeah. Oh, what about um, Twin Claws? No, I'm never going to do that. I wouldn't. Strength in in, in the current claws. game, I have no desire to put claws on any Space Marine character. Interesting. I don't know if Space Wolves want to for a reason. Um, with their detachment, they can give it precision and plus one damage. Okay, that's that, Okay, I like that. So all Oh, but their detachment. Their so you, detachment. Can't, you can't you do Firestorm Assault. You can't do Firestorm Assault, do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, forged in battle. Uh, wild Bears leading a unit once per turn after making a hit roll or saving roll for unit, you can change the result to a six. And actually, if I have a few points to spend, I'm going to buy that one, throw it on something. I feel like generally when a character's dying, it's because I'm rolling a fistful of saves. Anyways. No, no, or his unit. Uh, uh, yeah, but like if I'm making saves, I'm making a fistful. So anyway. if you have a really cool, uh, at one, once per turn, you uh, you can guarantee heavy bolter gets two hits with making the six. Or you just don't want to lose a wound. You can make your armor no, take. I thought six. it said saving. Throw. It's hit or saving throw, oh, not wound. Or saving. If it was wound, it would be an auto take. Yeah. But it's hit, wound or damage auto take. But it's hit or saving throw. It's good. I would use it if I have the points for it. But I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not adding it at the start of my list building. Is there project. anything else that's wild that has sustained hits or lethal hits? Anything that's lethal. Hits. Nothing that I want to. Nothing. Like, nothing in the book that doesn't makes a lieutenant running. give his squad lethal hits. I believe so. Yes. But what? So maybe maybe uh, a last. He's he's left. This lieutenant is running a devastator squad. Can he? Uh, almost positive. Yeah. Uh, he might make once per turn. You can make a last can automatically wound by hitting with a six. Sure. Yeah. Oh, the much time we can join actually. Yeah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't assume because the new book. Maybe I gotta look it up. Yeah. Uh, Reaver. Remember, right, while you do that, we have the Adamantine Mantle. Each time attack is allocated to the bearer. Subtract so one to the damage, two minimum one, obviously. Uh, unless it was made by a melt or a torrent weapon, then the weapon becomes one damage. I can't think of a way I would use this because if my whole squad, if he's bleeding, like, what character wants to take this? Maybe, um, 
maybe the lone operative character, the uh, lieutenant with combi weapon. But I don't know if I want this. I don't. I don't know if I care about this. But I'm not here for the enhancements. I'm here for the stratagems. Can a lieutenant join devastators? Okay, lieutenant can join assault intercessors squad, lieutenant. blade guard, veteran squad, company heroes, hellblasters, infernus, intercessor, stern guard, veteran, tactical. All right, stratagems. Okay, we have armor contempt still. Actually, I'll point out now. Every one of these attachments has armor contempt. Yeah. Uh, Crucible Battle, one of the best stratagems, well, for me. One command point, it's a battle tactic. Um, you can use in the fight phase or shooting phase. The closest enemy unit you're attacking within six, plus one to wound. That's this plus only one. affects infantry. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, but the reason why I like so that... So a Dreadnought could use it. Well, sure, but the reason why I like it is, if I'm going to send in an Aggressor Squad into combat, which I'm going to have with this attachment quite often, or a Terminator Squad into close combat... I don't want to end up against a vehicle without plus one to wound. That's better than the Gladius Task Force because that, that one only gives you Lance. So you have On to the charge. That's the, okay, so that's something I'm going to talk about when I talk about all these detachments. Um, I'm going to, the, the, to me, the detachments that don't have a plus one to wound in any way is, is severely lacking. Mm -hmm. So I like this detachment. It's not even a melee detachment, but it has the plus one to wound mm -hmm. that I need a melee. Now, with. Um, or shooting. Or shooting. So I can do plus one to wound with. Um, Aggression is really close to the flame. So, everything. It's just good. It's just good. Yeah. I like that stratagem a lot. So anyway, first two stratagems, love love them both. Uh, next stratagem, rapid embarkation. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> End of the fight phase. One command point. Get back in the vehicle. And sorry, any of your opponent's fight phase. Oh no, the fight phase. Yeah. So and if, the fight phase. If you're within engagement range, you can't do it. Yeah, for sure. So you just get back in your vehicle. So you can't just be like, oh, you're touching me, I'm leaving. Well, I had a I had a game that's up right now for you to watch where I got into a vehicle because I needed to do an action mm -hmm. uh, that my vehicle couldn't quite get to, but my guys could get to it. Um, and then at the, end of my, at the end of my opponent's fight phase, I planned on embarking on his turn so they can fly somewhere else, but he knew I could do it, so he did his best to kill my vehicle. So. Fair enough. I, it, this strategy, you're not going to use every game, but the fact that you have it, I love that it's in this thing. This whole detachment, the theme is... Like close range salamanders flaming and uh, and fighting, fighting out of a vehicle, they're just doing like they, So the I guess you could argue the weakness of this list would be like keep your distance. But then if I'm keeping my distance, I'm not getting to objectives. I'm just, and you're I'm not, so, I'm not doing, so I'm not playing the game. You're advancing everywhere. I'm, I was able to get all the angle. Oh, it doesn't matter. Next you're strategy. in faces. I'm in faces. You're in faces. Immolation protocols is two command points, but I need to point out it is a battle tactic, so it's free. <laughs> it's essentially free. Um, you give in your shooting phase. You give one of your torrent squads um, devastating wounds. So it's it, who is it free for? Uh, I don't care. My gravis captain is going to do it all the time for his uh, flame storm aggressors. Yeah. Now you have D six plus one twin linked flamers that are strength five when you when they fire because the twelve inch range. So you're plus one strength. Reroll into wound devastating wound, <sighs> or you fish for more sixes. On average dice, you get eight devastating wounds to a uh, target. Yeah. So I have you know six flame storm aggressors and a gravis captain. It's in, two command points, but it's free. That, so you can't put them inside a repulsor, can you? No. So no, they, a... they can fit inside a redeemer. And there's no way to deep strike them. Well, uh, you play Ultra Breeze and you have a Uriel Ventress who can pick an infantry squad. And... <laughs> okay, that's one thing I'm actually... Because uh, get, getting them to their target is the thing. But I guess if they all have assault anyway... They all have assault anyway. <laughs> they're they're assault going anyway. wherever they want to go. Yeah. Uh... I'm actually uh, I'm I'm scared that Games Workshops be like, oh no, we don't want these guys deep striking. You don't can do to any non gravis unit. Please, Games Workshop, stop giving me things and taking things away. Uh, it's probably not going to happen, but I'm just so conditioned to have things taken away from me. Oh, that's a cool combo. Let's see if I still have it in a month. <laughs> I never read this before. What? The captain, he can only join the Hellblasters if he takes a plasma pistol. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I remember. I never read that before. I skipped over that detail. I'm like, oh, why is why is there an asterisk with the Hellblaster squad? And I'm like, wait a second. Wait Ben's a second. got ADHD. Uh, then we have Ayo. Onslaught of Fire for one command point. Um, when you get a vehicle, you can spend a command point to get plus one to hit. I don't care. This is the only strategy I don't but, like. But, but, why, but why not? It's a battle tactic. It's also a battle tactic. It can be free, I guess. I don't know. Can, free. can you just give a squad plus one to hit for their ranged weapons? What? I just don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use it. And maybe if you're getting out of a Razorback who, who gives you a plus one to wound, getting out of the Razorback. Plus one to hit and wound? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just not, I don't care. And then you've got, oh, you have a Devastator squad, which I don't believe you can put a captain with. Let's talk about Burning Vengeance for one command point. No, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, oh. instead of... We're not talking Burning No, we're not. Wait. Um, <laughs> so, instead of having to stay still for heavy, you get the effect of heavy on your heavy weapon squad when they get out of uh, transport. 
instead of it, they count as being stationary. Essentially. What heavy weapon am I bringing in this this attachment? Oh, aggressors. Melt. Uh, have, uh, I mean, uh, eradicators. Multi melt is on. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, 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 eradicators. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah the... Okay, actually, you know what? Oh, ah! I could have used this. To... Ah! I like it. <laughs> I don't think we found a bad stratagem yet. In this. <laughs> right, I like it. I, I, I could have used this in my game today. I'll, I'll tell you this. It doesn't matter. Um, aggression. Uh, sorry, eradicators coming out of a uh, land raider are so good anyway that like I don't think I need this, but it's actually a overkill. It could be free. Uh, I do want to talk about what if, they, if they try to be stealth. Yeah, and you um, don't have and you don't have the um, that's true. I guess you guy guess. that ignores stuff. <sighs> Maybe I do want this. I like okay. I like this attachment. Oh, I couldn't tell. The, the best. I could not. Uh, tell. This was probably the best one, but this was the best one because when you tell your opponent, it just makes them second guess oh, everything. Man. One command point: burning vengeance. You target one of my vehicles with attacks, guns, or whatever. You shoot at it. You finish shooting at it. You even kill it because it's a land raider. And then my guys get out on your turn and shoot you. How many CP is it, Steve? That's one. Uh, at least Burning it's not vengeance. a battle tactic. It's not a battle tactic. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring repulsors because people sometimes think I can kill a repulsor. They all want to shoot the repulsor. <laughs> and then, oh no, there's aggressors coming out. Well, and if you do kill a repulsor, like you're spending turns doing it. Like if you yeah, have yeah, to yeah, yeah. Repulsor, you're not killing you're like, likely not killing it in even, one volley. Even if you don't think you can kill it in one volley, you know you're gonna have to take multiple volleys, but then you know that every volley you take at it, you're gonna suffer for. <laughs> so there we go. This is what I think is the best one, or more accurately, the one that feeds into my playstyle. And so then the eradicators perfectly. get out and then hit you with plus one to hit. <laughs> So, so I'm really, I'm really, I just know, as a guy who plays this game, technically professionally, I play this game daily, I'm going to have a, a guest come out and play a game of Warhammer at Mini Wargaming or Mount Miniatures, and they're going to get out, they're going to have the, their own Eradicator squad or something, um, they're going to go stand next to my They're going to get one hit through, it's going to do one like, damage. Well, I'm going to remind you, I'm going to remind you, like I know you're, you walked over here to target this whatever, but if you don't kill it, my guys are going to get out and shoot you. Like my 10 man Hellblaster squad is going to get out. It's going to be Hellblasters. <laughs> and they're going to have plus one to hit. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I can do that. No, the onslaught of fire is in only in your shooting. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, also, I can't have, I can't have aggressors come out and then uh, uh, immolation for Oh, uh, okay. So there's, like, there's. It's slightly less bad. The Hellblasters are still going to get out and shoot. Way, you. And they're not going to overwatch, overcharge because it's not worth it on your opponent's super turn. Super mobile, super killy. Um, and they're in their space brains, so they're inherently just resilient. Yep. So and you still have armor and contempt. You still have armor and contempt. This one I think is the best one. This is my favorite one. Um, arbitrary uh, five stars out of five. What do you give this one out of five? Uh, man, it... Okay, so I think the the only not great thing about this is that every single enhancement is not a five out of five. <laughs> yeah, only one of them is a four out of five. Um, but now that Champion of Humanity is looking a little bit better, Oh, enhancement. Yeah, sure. Yeah, enhancements. Yeah, they're not terrible. But, but like, um, the ability is basic enough that you're never going to forget it. It's so, not complex. It's not hard to use. You're always going to use it. They're, they're, it I've been doing this for almost 10 years. I've reviewed reviewed dozens, <laughs> if not hundreds, of books at this point, right? Probably dozens. Uh, uh, um, I always say, I like all this, but like I've never used this or I've never used that. I, no, I'll use them all. I'm using all this. Except for the enhancements. No, I think I'll use, I'll use them all. I would, use them all. I would use them all. And what I'm saying is there's not one here I'm going to say I'm never going to buy. Fair. Um, so, okay. So let me ask you, make this your next question. What is, so that you would say Dark Angels would get, would play the Firestorm Assault Force. That would be I think their, everybody does. Okay. What is the second best one for Dark Angels? No, I don't have that conversation yet. That, I, I know where you're going. I don't have that conversation yet. No? Let's go over them now, and then we can have the conversation, because I want to see if you can like sway my opinion. Anvil okay. Siege Force, the non-Imperial Fist. <laughs> you have uh, Shield of the Imperium. All your weapons gain heavy. If you already had heavy, you get plus one to wound if you had remained stationary. So that sounds really good. This is 10th edition. You can't just make a gun line sit still and play the game. You can't do that. You have to be mobile and have to move and get objectives. Yeah. So right away I'm like, ah, that you better make this interesting later because I can't. So what I'm looking for, what I'm waiting for, when I see something like that, I want I want to see a stratagem that like um, counts as remaining stationary right. for a unit. You're not seeing that. So, so what this detachment, I'm gonna talk about this, but my opinion is, I'm gonna tell you beforehand, what this detachment tries to do 
you only need to do one turn in the game of it, and that's why Gladius is this, this better than this. Or an enhancement that says the character attached to this unit always counts as remaining stationary. That also doesn't exist. Uh, so enhancements, we have for Gravis only, um, after you die at a 2+, plus, you set it back up on the battlefield. Auto take. I don't care, sure. I'm going to put that on somebody who's going to be a missile. I'm gonna what Gravis character is going to be, the Gravis captain? Is, yeah, or, sure. Yeah, what's the power fist? And you just take half damage. All right, fine. So, like, that's can, somebody, it's like, okay, you put all this work into killing him. Now he's back, and now you're not targeting my other stuff, so and he's in your face. What I suspect your mindset there is a ninth edition mindset. Um, I don't think the Gravis captain does enough damage to warrant his, even though he's going to be hard to kill and might get back up. Um, I don't think he. I don't think he's that big, enough of a distraction. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. You. We should test it. I'm not saying don't try it. My gut says that's that's a that's a mindset of ninth edition. Uh, this. See, the detachment rule is something I look at and I'm like, I want to find a way to make this work. I'm with you. I'm with you. It, um, it's interesting enough. We'll, we'll go like, over. I okay. So fleet thing. commander. I don't. I don't even want to talk uh, about it's, it. It's it's orbable barbin. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird orbable orbable orbable. Yeah. Orbable. Stoic defender. Uh, uh, while the bear is leading a unit, they have a six of fill of pain. While in objective marker you control, and you're not battle shocked. Oh wait. Oh no. Uh, six of fill of pain while you control an objective, and while you're not battle shocked. Oh, sorry, when you is battle shocked, have the objective control instead of going to zero. So the second half is the dark angel detachment special rule. <laughs> I learned that. I don't even care about that. Uh, to do. So that that would be one of the enhancers where like I'll never take this. No, the six of fill of pain is worth it alone. Uh, what what squad would you ideally put it on? Okay, so far with the information that we talked about, I'm thinking a big Gravis uh, squad that's got heavy weapons. Like aggressors? Or... No, no, sorry, a Gravis intercessor squad. Oh, okay. Squad. Oh, so you found a use for Gravis intercessors. Or heavy intercessors. Yes, well, maybe. I don't think so. We'll see. So a 10-man squad of Gravis intercessors that are on their home field objective while they're in cover, whatever, their one damage attack. No, one damage attacks are like... Uh, plus one save against them. So yeah. whatever, whatever that special rules, who cares? Their weapon is heavy. They're old thousand size. So they, they stand stuff. still with three wounds apiece, toughness six. Um, six. Yeah, all grabs are toughness six now, and their strength five gun will have plus one to wound at whatever they shoot at. Yeah. I don't know if that that sounds cool. I don't know if that belongs in the context of tenth edition. To be honest with you, well, I think it's a waste. Would of you points. would you move them up, disembark them somewhere, and be like, now I'm holding this point. Now they're staying. Here. I don't. Th okay, so, so rather than right, a gun line no, staying back, here's my problem. Right away, what you just described, I'm better off playing that playstyle as for first term firestorm, first term, and then those gravis intercept heavy intercessors are better off. Those points are better spent. I didn't get the plus one wound anyway. <laughs> yes. So yeah. So no. That's this is the this is the problem I'm having with some of these attachments. But well, let's let's finish it because maybe you can convince me something else. But I like where you're trying. Uh, while the bear is leading unit, ranged weapons equipped with models. Uh, oh, yeah. Ignore cover. So you have like a, that, a ten man very, uh, you have a ten man interceptor uh, squad or a ten man gravish squad sitting on your backfield objective. Maybe they're in a ruin and maybe you have a captain and a lieutenant in there. So they have ignore cover, lethal hit, uh, six of feel no pain. Um, that's a squad I probably would do. I'd do that it's going to be blasters. hard to shift. It'd be Hellblasters for me. Hellblasters um, more cover? Okay, Hellblasters, they're heavy. They're 24-inch range, though. Hellblasters are heavy? Uh, yes, double-check Hellblasters range. The problem is they're 24-inch range. I thought they were 30s. And I don't think the game, with the way Ruins and Cover works in this edition, you're not, you're not putting a squad of heavy weapons on a roof somewhere and shooting guns across the field like you were in 7th edition. It's just not happening. Yeah, they're heavy. And they're assault. So, yeah, yeah, they are. So, um, what's the range? Uh, 24. So, Hellblasters, if you get them, in, if you can move them up into a position where they can get good firing lanes, now you're uh, plus one to wound because you're, you're heavy and you didn't move. Uh, you have six of feel no pain. You ignore cover with, like, two characters. It's a big points investment, but... Uh, like you're wounding, um, what's it called, uh, repulsors on fours. Yeah, sure, great. Other things can too. I know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to be. I don't want to be negative. All right, let's go to strategies. Armor of contempt. We got that one. Rigid, Rigid discipline. discipline. Uh, when making your move, you uh, unit must. No, nope, enunciate. Uh, your unit can immediately fall back and move six inches after they've been engaged. So uh, at the end of the fight phase, your your uh, unit end of end of any fight phase, a yep. unit can immediately fall back uh, and move six inches, so long as they're in their own deployment zone. That Well, that actually works really well with standing still. 
because in your turn, I'm going to fall back and I'm going to stay I'm, still. I'm trying to find uses. I know, I Work know. With me here. I know. I'm just saying it plays in, it synergizes with the army. All right. Yep, it synergizes with getting no points. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, not one step backwards. In your command phase. Actually, no, you can use that to grab an objective. Sure. I'm not, typically if you're fighting for your own backfield objective in 10th edition, you probably lost No, but like game. falling back, you can move forward falling back. You move, yeah. it's a six inch move. You get a free six inch You move. must end your move wholly within your deployment zone or within range oh, of objective. Or, or within range of objective. Okay. Or within range of objective. Okay, actually, I didn't realize that it was, or, it was I thought it had only your deployment zone. Not terrible. Less bad than you thought. Now, to really make use of this detachment's rules, you have to have a lot of heavy guns, right? Well, all your guns are all automatically heavy. And if you're getting caught in combat, well, no, but you want to get the plus one to wound. For, yeah. By, by, by bringing but this, heavy... this attachment makes everything heavy. Yes, which I don't, which I don't think the plus one to hit for. Okay, so what I'm trying to say, okay, I'll word this better. I don't like the heavy special rule on space springs anyway because I'm never not moving. I have to move. Okay. So the fact that you, I'm gaining heavy as a plus one to hit for not moving, I don't care about. But I kind of like the idea of the plus one to wound. I'll risk not moving if I have a good fire for a plus one to wound. So I want weapons that already have heavy or I'm not using this attachment. Fair enough. Because I don't care what heavy as it is. So yes, rigid discipline, if you get caught in a combat you don't want to be in, you can fall back onto an objective. Okay, you're probably going to end up using that if you get caught out, but don't get caught out. Uh, not one step backwards in your command phase, one adept to start infantry. The unit counts... Um, Oh, yeah, the unit counts their objective control characteristic as a double, but must remain stationary. This is only if somebody's already got to your deployment, your objective you're already fighting over. Like, you have to remain stationary. And it's... How long does it last? So it's the end of the turn. Mark. So it's, it's not, only it's the not end in of your deployment zone. It's no, but it's until the end of your turn. Think of the situation where it matters. Any of your things where you have movement shenanigans in my turn? I have to be on an objective already. Yeah. This is my turn. I have to be on an objective already because they're all what's the point of doubling my OC? So that's the first caveat. And what's the point of doubling my OC unless my point's on the objective? Uh, he's rigid discipline in them. So no 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 you're missing the point. The only the only reason to use not one step backwards is if you're on an objective and so is your opponent. Yeah, so they've they've taken it from me in their turn. Yeah. And then in my command phase, before I score my primary. I can take it without attacking them. Sure. Yeah. Well I can take it so I can score. Yeah. It's in oh, they took, it, they took it from you. It's in your command phase. I can, can take go, it and score my primary. Take, take it back. This, oh, okay. this, can be, this can be real points on the board. All right, I'm starting, to see, I'm starting to see the old flaws in my mindset when I look at this. Okay. All right, see, this is exactly why it's good to have another person here. <laughs> I'm seeing my own flaws in mindset. I don't, I, I've decided not to like this. And I'm not opening my mind. You're right. There, that that is a valid reason. You have to have you have to have lost an objective to an opponent that didn't wipe out your entire unit. It's still gonna be. It's still not. It's well, not as bad as I thought. There's those sticky things where it's like if I just do this, I take I take control of the objective. Like, yes. Like that's uh, our last game. That ghost kill. I just move here and I take the objective. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna double my OC. Yeah. I take it back. Yeah. You're right. No. You're right. Um. It's one of your strategies. It's one of your six stratagems. Yep. Uh, no threat, two grade, two command points. It is a battle tactic. Uh, any adept to unit. Um, at the end of your turn, each time a model makes a ranged attack that targets a monster or vehicle, you re-roll the wound roll. Two command points is hefty, but it's also pretty good. Uh, but we also, it's free. It's, it's essentially free. It's essentially free, but the problem with this one is... I know. <laughs> um, it's just to remind me about the thing I lost. The old moment <laughs> thing. This is for one unit when I used to have it for my whole army. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good. It's like it's not a bad it's thing. It's more than Oath was too good. So it, it's not it's 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 a, it's, it's a fantastic strategy. It's important that it's a battle tactic. Uh battle drill recall. Um in your shooting phase, one adept to start his unit from your army that is not selected to shoot this phase until the end of the turn end of the phase, ranged weapons have the same hits of one ability. If you remain stationary this turn, you critical at a five plus. So Hellblasters and Eradicators. But I don't want to stay still. Eradicators are 18 inch range. They're not staying. You don't still. want to stay still. This detachment no. does. I know. Eradicators aren't staying still. They have 18 inch range. Um, Hellblasters are 24 inch range. They may be able to stay still. It's just like I'm a reactive. I'm thinking it's I'm a the high volume of shots to make best use. Of I'm this. a reactive player, and I think most people do better by moving and out, playing and out maneuvering on their opponent. This is your opponent moves, and then you get bonuses if you don't. If they, what I'm saying is like. If I'm playing against somebody playing this one, uh, I can mitigate all the stratagems in my own movement phase. Yeah. I, if you're playing Anvil Siege Force, I can mitigate all your stratagems on my turn. 
So as long as I know your detractors, I can just like, unless rigid discipline, because I'm doing that on your turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hail of Vengeance, two command points. It's a uh... opponent's shooting phase. There you go, Steve. Yep. Just after enemy has resolved attacks, one unit in your army. Wait, hey, had clap one. Back. It's clap back. Have one of your models destroyed. Spend two command points. Shoot back. Um, I think there's another caveat. No, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so before we move on, we have to talk about this this one. Um, how how do you want to play this? You want, in my opinion, you want a bunch, bunch of high volume, high strength, high damage. Predator weapons, weapons aren't heavy. Tank weapons aren't heavy anymore, but they um, are now in this attachment. No, I, I only want them to be already be heavy. I don't care. So the whirlwind benefits a little bit from this because it gets plus one to hit. I actually like that in a whirlwind. And it's indirect, so it doesn't need to move. But yeah, I like the whirlwind on this attachment. Um, Hell blasters, eradicators. Uh, heavy intercessors, regular intercessors. Anything that has to hit. No, so, no, no, no. So flame weapons don't make as much use out of this attachment as they would the... Okay, so I think you're weapon. missing the point I'm trying to make. Any weapon that doesn't already have heavy, in my opinion, gains nothing. Um, staying still, you get plus one to hit, is almost always... A, you're almost... I can't count how many times like, oh, I can stay still and get plus one to hit, but if I stay in three inches, if I move three inches to the left... I'm going to lose plus one to hit, but I'm going to be in a far better position next turn. Yeah, I'm going to take that objective. Taking away the... I think there's a trap of looking at heavy weapons and not moving to get your bonus, and now you are you didn't position yourself better for your opponents next turn. I think this whole detachment is a trap. Now, I'll risk some heavy weapon weapons, heavy weapon stationaries. If the weapon already had heavy, and it gave me... And it gives me plus one to wound. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, yeah. I'm asking if you agree with me. I'm asking if you understand. Like, I will I get risk, it. I will risk the stage shape for plus one to wound, not plus one to hit, not in the context of 10th. I, I don't do like this me. attachment. That being said, what's up? Not in turn. Do not, do not disturb. Oh, good. This is why my phone's always on silent. <laughs> this is why I take it with me. <laughs> um, so this is, now, now, if you try to make a list, I try to make some lists. I try to make some lists. I, I had intercessors, uh, hell blasters, heavy intercessors. I put a whirlwind in there. And every time I looked at the list, I'm like, oh, I think I would just rather be Gladius Strike Force. Yeah, I I want to do some playtesting with it. I agree. I, do I agree. With it. Haven't it's, played it. It's interesting, and I want to find a way to force so it. So there, there, there is, there's probably a combo of weapons or uh, units and characters that, Steve, have you considered this? Comment below. Have you considered blah, blah, blah? That changes your whole thought process. Plus one to wound on all your Overwatch. If 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 you're if the weapon had heavy on a data sheet, yeah. Who's overwatching with not torrent weapons? What torrent weapons have heavy? <laughs> well, if I like I said, if I got a ten man squad of hell blasters, that's a lot of shots. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. No, I, I agree with you. I just don't want so. Um, uh, is your is your contention? Anvil siege force is slightly better hell blasters because it's not enough for me. I, 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 I want to find other stuff. Fair. I can't. My final thoughts. Moving on. I can't think of a list to make with this that I wouldn't rather use Gladius. But again, that's my play style. Yes. So you're, you very this, much want to get up. This might be somebody's game. perfect play style, and they love it. And they play it all the time, and it's fantastic for them. But that's the Anvil Siege Strike Force. Way in below. Oh wait, let's rate it. Let's rate it. I rate this one actually. It's not a one. It's not a one out of five. It's a two out of five for me. Nothing's a one and a half for me. Oh wait, might be one of this. Oh, two days. So we're we're relatively close. We're relatively like completely it's not arbitrary. Great, but I want to find a way to make it work anyways. I think we should call them mountains because let's be lame. It's a, it's a two mountains out of five for me. Two and a half mountains out of it's a mountain. You can you can you can use hills. Two mountains and a hill. You can use, you can use hills. <laughs> two mountains. Two mountains and a hill. Animal two strike force. Not not. It's almost terrible for me, but eh, it's whatever. There you go. Yeah. Moving on, we got to do Iron Storm Spearhead. Okay, one, this one I love. I don't care how powerful or weak it is. I don't care. Um, I ordered five Dreadnoughts. I ordered two Redemptors and two uh, Ballistas. Uh, no, not Ballistas. Uh, Brutalis. And I have one Ballistas. Nice. I'm playing this. I also ordered four of those Server of Fire Strike Turrets for this list. For this list? Not that you want it in this list. Okay, so they get they get the old Eldar thing. Yes, actually. Yeah, so it's reroll a hit a wound or a damage yes oh it is or it's it is or. or it's not and so this detachment wants you to play with vehicles and tech marines just the iron hand detachment i think this one's going to be fun to play 
So I am going to play it. Now, I ordered the Fire Strike turrets because I want only, the only characters I'm going to have are Tech Marines and then Dreadnoughts. Are you but the, the, the Fire Strike Torch Turch... Father or Iron Father? Or nah, I'm playing Ultra Marines. Um, <laughs> when I I will bring the Fire Strike Turrets because they have Tech Marines uh, shooting them, so it's, it fits the theme. They, they, they don't fit the the the, uh, the detachment; they just fit the theme, and it's that's gonna be fun. All right. And how powerful it is? I don't know. Let's figure this out together. Okay, so target array augury web. It's an aura. It's yeah. Green model only. Well, it has to be aura if you're gonna affect vehicles, right? Yes, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Um, while a friendly Adeptus Astartes vehicle model is within six inches of the bear, weapons equipped by that vehicle's model have the lethal hits ability. So I, it looks like a repulsor has a whole bunch of guns. So all those guns have lethal hits. Yeah. Um, I think I think in the back of the book, this, this is like a 40-point upgrade. I, I, I pay 40 points for it. But I don't know how many points is going to be. We don't know how accurate that is. I don't think I'd pay 40 points for it. And it's, you could have two repulsors next to this guy and they both get it. It's not bad. Hold on. It's not bad. It's, I don't know if I, yeah, you know, if it's lethal. It probably is good. Or you got a dreadnought, a couple of dreadnoughts next to him. He creates a dreadnought fire base. 20, uh, and, they're, was... and they're re rolling a hit, a wound, or a damage yeah. as well. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, the flesh is weak of four, feel no pain ability. I might put it in my tech marine just for theme, but it's it's not good. It's not good. It's not bad. It's he whatever. should not be getting into fights. It, well, if he is, he did it anyway. That force, yeah. that force, not keeping him alive. <laughs> well, if you're rolling the dice, it might. Yeah, hundred percent would. <laughs> no. uh, adept of the Omni Sire, a tech marine model only, once per battle round. When a saving throw is made by an adept of the vehicle within six inches of the bear, change it to zero damage. I'm bringing that every time. It's a shield drone. I'm bringing that every it time. It is a shield drone. Every time. Uh, okay, so master of machine war. It's another aura. Uh, Adeptus Astartes models only, model only, while a friendly Adeptus Astartes vehicle is in the six inches of the bear, that vehicle unit is eligible to shoot even if it fell back or advanced. Sure, it's probably, that's probably pretty good. Uh, the problem is vehicles don't care about being tagged. Especially if you're Dreadnoughts. You shoot out of combat at other targets and you fight whatever you're in combat with. I don't think you care about that. That's a good, that's a good aura for 9th edition. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not trying to knock that. Well, okay, um, if you're trying to grab objectives, this will gives you options. Absolutely. So it, but it's, I'm not. Uh, what it's it, complementing what, movement. What what enhancement are you gonna buy that's super contingent on like a weird situation that doesn't happen that often, but does happen sometimes? If it's ten points, I can fall back anyway. If you, if you, I can fall back. If you anyway. have a list, we're playing a game, and you have fourteen ninety. You're telling me you're not gonna spend ten points. On I that can upgrade? fall back anyway. If I need the points, I'll fall back and forego the shooting. Well, yeah, but it's ten points. If it's if, if it's ten points, yeah, if it's ten points. All right, um, I'm not, I'm, yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll do the stratagems. We do have armor contempt. I'll point that one out right away. It's right there this time. And yeah, I don't know why it's not always the same it. spot. That's but weird. But armor contempt, all of them have it. Fantastic, fantastic stratagem. Um, unbowed conviction. One adept to unit that's below a starting strength. Until the end of the turn, uh, you can ignore all modifiers to its characteristics or any role for test made for it. Excluding same as same as the other one before. I right? find that super important. Because generally, because the the point the wound threshold they've made is yep. so low now yep. that I'm probably gonna be dead. And that minus one because it's just still. a minus one to hit now, right? I, it's not like you're losing movement. It's not like you're losing ballistic skill. Well, there are weapons like the mole launcher from the Votan and like the the Tyranid um, weird mortar things that like have your movement. They would ignore it. Like you're not gonna use the stratagem every game, but you're already use the stratagem. Yeah. But I'm with you. Uh, mercy is weakness. One command point in your shooting or fight phase. Uh, each time you make an attack in your... Wait. Each time a model in your unit makes an attack, it targets a unit that's below starting strength. The attack has to stay hits one. And when making such an attack, the attacking model is a vehicle. It scores a critical hit on 5+. plus. So that's going to be really good in melee with a Dreadnought. It's going to be good. It's good. Just got it's just good. Brutalizer. I, br brutalier. Brutalier? Brutalier. <laughs> Uh, Vengeful Animus automatically explode. Yep. Love it. Perfect. Ancient Fury. I don't understand this one. I mean, I like it, but I don't get it. It's I'll command explain it to you, Steve. No, well, okay. <laughs> hold on. Um, until you the start of your next command phase, improve the model's move, toughness, and save characteristic. Every Dreadnought has saved two. Can you have a save one plus? Well, if I'm getting shot up with heavy weapons. No, no, no. That's You're, what's going to be no, shooting a Dreadnought. It changes, your it changes your characteristic. So I have a one-up armor save. That's allowed? We're allowing that? We're doing that? We're Apparently. Doing that? Okay. Rule that's written. All right. Um, is, hold on. There's 100% a, a, a spot in the book that says that ones always fail, right? In the rule book? They didn't omit yeah, that. Yeah, ones always fail. They, they, they wrote that again in the book, They're right? giving you armor of contempt for the turn. Yeah. So you have two armor of contempts now. Yeah. 
Um, the toughness is pretty good. The move, the move's pretty good. Leadership and oh, opsec is pretty good. And then uh, plus one to hit. Oh, I didn't see the it, plus one to it's, hit. It's one command point. I'm gonna use it a lot. And then power of the machine spirit. Your opponent's shooting phase just after the enemy unit has resolved its attacks. One attempt to start his vehicle is an army that's below half strength as a result of the attack. What? That's specific. Target one adept of Sardis vehicle unit from your army that was reduced to below half strength. Okay. Um, the unit can shoot as if it was your shooting phase. Oh, okay. And oh, the clap back. It's a clap back, but instead of, with, it, with like, instead of losing a model, I have to be brought to below half strength. Yeah. Great. It's just weirdly I, specific. And it's only one command point. I love it. It's like that, that guy finally fires a bolter and it just ticks you below that half strength. And it's like, then you get really angry. So in this list, uh, the, the models I ordered for it, my, I have actually, you know what? I have a 1500 point list right here. Luca, do you need to use a computer? Nope. Okay. Okay. Luca's in the room. Hi, Luca. Hello. I'm trying to read. Oh, I'm trying to read the book. You, you can't read? This is different. It's not that OBS thing, right? Guys, we promise Luca can read. Read not list. Okay, so the list I have has a single tech marine, primary tech marine, um, two oh, brutalis no. dreadnoughts, one ballistas dreadnought. Four fire strike servo turrets because the tech marines are piloting them. Don't get me started. I think they're overpriced. I, I do think they're not. Are working. they fun? They're going to be fun on this list. You can make four of them. The squads. You can be up squads of two. So ah, two squads of two. Okay. Uh, two redemptor dreadnoughts and a whirlwind to sit in the backfield. So you're not so going to throw brutalis with that. What? You're not going to throw brutalis dreadnoughts. There's in? two brutalis in there. Oh, I thought you said something else. Yeah. 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 So that that I, how powerful is this? I have no idea. It's, it's going to be fun. fun. Now, uh, I say five out of five mountains are fun. I'd say four mountains. Uh, how powerful it's going to be? It's not going to be that weak, to be honest with you. I think this is a three, maybe a four. I give it a four. Four on both. Four on both. Four on both. There's the Iron Storm spearhead. I, I, I like having some infantry. We, we spend more time when I don't like something. I actually like this, and I have nothing to say. Yeah, we kind of blew through this one. Uh. Everything, everything is. This is going to be fun. No, you don't have to play with dreadnoughts. You can play with. You're just vehicles. missing out on like uh, the walker ability. But no, but like any any li like I can take the list I played vehicle. with my um uh, my flame my my flame storm whatever list and having this reroll one die a turn or a fa wait a phase um it that's a good that's good for everything. It's yeah it's it's now advancing advancing and shooting is better in my opinion. It's but good, that's but it's good. not amazing. Yeah, I like this one. It this is just solid. Storm Lance Task Force. This one has broken my brain. I spent so much time thinking about this one. It's insane. I have made probably six or seven lists trying to play this one. Granted, I haven't played it yet. It's all theory craft, but we'll talk about this. I'm excited to play this. So, uh, depth series uh, units in your army can advance and fall. Sorry, advance and charge or fall back and charge. Yep. Great. Now uh, we have Fury of the Stormwind. It's a plus one. Um, I think it's rend and strength uh, when for your weapon. Where's my weapon? But it has to be a mounted character. So it's only it's only a chaplain. Unless you're Space Wolves, which you brought, I, I completely didn't think about. Uh, and then plus Wolf two Battle turn. Leader and a Wolf Lord on Thunder Wolf. So I think my consensus, my, my thoughts on this one is this is actually a Space Wolf detachment. But, uh, Portance of Wisdom, uh, Death of Sarius model, while the bear is leading unit, you reroll well, advanced I also have, still have Firstborn Bikes, too. They don't, they're not in the book anymore. Yeah, they, they're in the index, though. Space Wolves. No, you, your Space Wolves is a Space Frame book. Oh, I don't have Swift you Claw have, Bikes. You have Luca, no... do I have Swift Claw Bikes? Are they in the space? Ah, uh, no, uh, I select Swift. Yeah, they're just, they're just yeah, you have to put them on bigger base called Mount Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. Boo. Boo um, While the Bears leading unit is able to shoot in the turn in which it fell back. Okay. I think you only get Blood Claws and Sky Claws for the Wolves. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, those are still. Oh, I don't even know Sky Claws. No, this is, hunters too. this is a good enhancement. Hunter Instincts, for the purposes of coming on from Strategic Reserves, uh, counts one turn higher. I actually like that one. Mm. Turn two in your enemy's deployment zone? Uh, turn one uh, anywhere? Or? Anywhere on the side. Anywhere on the side, yeah. Yeah. All right, stratagems. We have Armor of Contempt. <laughs> we have a Blitzing a Fusillade. Uh, your weapons gain Assault and Sustain 1, I believe. No, your weapons gain Assault. If they had Assault, it's uh, all Sustain 1. Cool. Like that's um, fine. 
I'm glad they didn't make that the army ability. I just, it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just the, it's a, let's be honest here, it's a charge attachment in this, in a game system that doesn't want you to charge anymore. It's the shooting edition, not the charging edition. It's full throttle? Full throttle! Um, instead of making an advanced roll, you add six to move of something, uh, in, it's, you nine instead of is mounted. Now, 19 inch move, Thunderwolf cap. That actually could be, I think, Okay, well, I'll finish up and I'll give you my thoughts. I think I think I can't make a list that wants to play this at all. Oh, it's a war here. With Space gotcha. Marines. I, but I think Space Wolves could do it. Anyways, Shock Assault. Mounted only in your charge phase. You have to do it in your charge phase. Yeah, that's fine. You need to reroll charges and the Lance ability. Yeah, sure. Now, you need Lance's, Lance's cool. Now, hold on. Uh, what can use it? What can use it in the Space Marine book? Only Outriders. Uh, is anything else mounted? Uh, Chaplain. Yeah, chopping on a bike, right? Only he can take that. Shock control is only for Outriders and Thunderwolf Cav. Thunderwolf Cav, that's aces. Uh, Outriders, they're not a melee unit. I mean, they kind of are. Thunderwolf Cav need this. Thunderwolf Cav are going to love that. Because they're straight five. Straight this, five is not, one. this is not the White Scar attachment, this, this is a space wolf yeah. Ride hard, ride fast. Any Adeptus Sergeant mounted or any Adeptus Sergeant vehicle that can fly, minus one to hit, minus one to wound. Love it. My Thunderwolf Cav are going to be. Much better now. Thunderwolf Cavalry are going to be a viable melee unit. Uh, but also, I'm just thinking about that. I'm thinking about a Storm Raven in hover mode. That is minus one damage, minus one hit, minus one hit. Or Storm Wolf. Or Thunderwolf. Stop trying to use Storm Wolf. Uh, uh, Storm Wolf <laughs> and uh, what's the gunship version? Dang it, this is a stupid space for the Storm Fang. Okay, Storm Fang. And then Swift Wind Evasion. After your opponent does a fallback move with. Uh, um, wait. Ends of normal move advance or fallback within nine of one year units. They can move of six inches. That's actually really good. But you can't get in the gauge range. So you reactively move. That's really well, I good. grab an objective. Or you body block. Yeah. I'm, you, you, I move my first unit, and I'm going to move my next one. But you like, body block the spot you know they're going to go. Like, Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a solid strategy. Now, here's, my, here's my, my, the contention I have with this whole thing. Nice inch moving. Well, okay. Thunderwolf Cav. And then they can charge. I think L Riders move 14. How much do. Uh, so that's like a 23 inch move? Yeah, you're charging turn out here. You're charging turn one if you want. But that's Alpha Strike. Now, if you're Outriders, you, you didn't do much One, you didn't do much damage. You didn't kill some of you in the game. I can almost guarantee that. Um, <laughs> if you're Outriders, but if you're Thunderbolt Calf. With and, the character. and if you are trying to fight, you have a chaplain in your unit, but you also got plus one to wound over in here because of the lands. Um, but if you're Thunderwolf, it could be good. Every time, every time, okay, so I have a lot, I have a lot of um, Ravenwing. So every time I made a Storm Lance Task Force with my Dark Angel Ravenwing, mm -hmm. every time I looked at the list, I went, huh, this is going to be better if I just played them as Gladius or Firestorm Assault. Every time. <laughs> What's, what's, is there any- I don't want to be in combat with my bikes. I want to shoot and score. Shoot, scoot, score. <laughs> shoot, scoot, boogie. No, we don't, <laughs> we don't do country in this channel. Ah. Uh, so, okay. again, more my player style. I don't like the, I want to like this. This was supposed to, oh, wait, hold on. I know how I like this. If I want to play a bunch of blade guard veterans, and Terminators and no transports, I want to run and charge. I'm going to use Stormlast uh, Task Force. Now, the problem is this strategy doesn't work for me. This strategy doesn't work for me. <laughs> this strategy doesn't work for me. So I have Armor of Contempt. You can run this and charge. Is, these two are kind of good. So, yeah. I just I, I, I just lose three really good strategies playing them without bikes. So it is a... It is a, it is, it is a Deathwing detachment. So it's one. It's a deathwing detachment with only three stratagems as far as I'm concerned. Terry, what were you gonna say? I was just looking at the full throttle and I was just thinking about like full throttle's nice. Like term uh, dreadnoughts. No, excluding walkers. Oh. Excluding walkers. Uh, That's the next try. <laughs> I'll also be tank shocking with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Uh, it is, it's like, it's, oh, this character has grabbed this objective and he's out of the way. The mounted. <laughs> you you want to do mounted. So this is the Space Wolf Detachment or Deathwing Detachment if you have, you know, we want to have one three stratagems. I just, don't, I just, I just want, I want to like this one so much. I give this one five out of five mounts for frustration. Frustration level for this one is uh, off the chart for me. This is so much fun. 
I but but so I was actually this hating. is max fun for me. I was hating on this one, but then when I was talking about space bulls, their federal cover mounted. I'm like, oh damn, this is actually gonna be a really good space bull detector. This is wild until until white scars get more stuff. I keep saying space bull detectors are gonna be awesome, but I think it actually will. Yeah, I think when white scars get more stuff, what, they, what, what more stuff are they gonna get? Uh, maybe the book like is out. a. Sp- Oh, excuse me. Now, um, if they get like a special bike squad with like glaives or like power glaives or something like that. Well, the white scars wouldn't get. It. Space Marines would get it. And we already have our. Boy. We're, not, we're It's not happening. No, oh, well, like, space wolves have the Hounds of Morkai, which is a primary space wolf specific unit. You still have that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So like, I I wouldn't hold. Okay. Before I think Ben's saying stuff that I wouldn't hold your breath on, everybody. I'm just saying. That's that's not speculation. That's wishful thinking. Ah. Well, I'm I'm making it work. Yeah. Um, also, I believe white scars have characters that are mounted. Nope. Is like uh, the con is on foot. But why yeah. is the con on foot? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it's just not a it's not a good space marine detachment. But again, comment below if you can think of a way of using this. No, but hold on. I know there are people out there who just love getting into combat. If this is the perfect detachment for somebody. Oh yeah. But all those reavers that somebody invested in. They can run and charge now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me know how you want to use And they ignore vertical distance. Fair. Let me know how you want to use this, <laughs> but more importantly, can anybody think of a way I can play my Raven Wing with this that isn't better as Gladius or... Um, uh, geez, what's it called? Do Raven Wing have um, assault on their weapons? No. Okay, so you can give them... You can give them assault and sustained one. Do you give them sustained one? No, no, already if you already, no, no, you gain assault. If you already oh, have right. assault, you gain the same one. So you can get assault. You can... And, oh, what, and you can move him 23 inches? So, Sam, Sam A.L. can... He, he gives the ability to... He gives assault to uh, the squad he joins, so... I wish Full Throttle was a um, battle tactic. They only have one battle tactic. Shock assault? Shock assault. Uh, which one's that? Oh, that's the reroll charges and gain the lance ability. Okay, um, that's actually shock assault is actually a really good strategy. Oh, for here for everybody. I would just it's a really good strategy for for Raven Wing Black Knights, which still exist. Yeah, but even though uh, I just I just I, I, I'm not seeing it. It's not for me. I'm not hate. I'm not, I am hating on it. I don't like it. Let's just move on. Yeah, Vanguard Spearhead. I found I I found the thing I want to try that people are gonna hate on me for. Um, okay, uh, this is the Raven Guard one. This is another one where I was, when I was making those um, make, when I was making the uh, Stormlands Task Force lists. I'm like, oh, I could t- do better with this one. Okay, but, so Shadow Masters. Each time a ranged attack targets an Adeptus Astartes unit from your army, unless the attacking model is within 12 inches, subtract one from the hit roll, and the target gains the benefit of cover against that attack. You know what that is not? That does not say stealth. Mm-hmm. So that does that mean it stacks with stealth? Yeah. But you can't modify it more than once, but it just offsets some of their plus ones to hit. Maybe, maybe your opponent... Your boat hand would be real frustrated about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe your opponent is playing the heavy one where you have plus one to hit, where you can stay still using heavy. But you're playing this one, like, still and you got still... <laughs> all right, all right, focus, focus. Okay. And their bliss skill for, the, for their heavy weapons was four. I like this. <laughs> I'm not, like, it's not going to make me play, like, it's not like, oh, it's so amazing, I want to play it. I like it, though. Um, we got some really good things here, we got some good things here, but let's talk about the blade-driven deep. Adeptus Astarte, Adeptus Astarte infantry model. Uh, while the, okay, <laughs> sorry, this is the best one. While the, mo- while the bear is leading unit, models in that unit have the infiltrator's ability. Do you want to know why this is the Dark Eater's attachment? Ten Deathwing Knights, two of armor, four bin bolt, four wounds. Four wounds apiece, minus one damage. Nine inches away from my deployment Nine zone. <laughs> it's just gonna. I just picture. I picture. Do 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 do. And then they look over, and there's like just just a guardsman staring at them, and they just see these glowing so eyes underneath these green hoods. Is it? <laughs> Is it gonna be competitive? I don't know. I'm gonna do it, you betcha. It's so dumb. Never have 20 Deathwing Knights been so fast. Just 10. It's... Okay, just, just 10. 10. All right. Uh-huh. We got uh, the Ghost Weave Cloak, uh, demonstrates not only the Gear Gain Stealth and Lone Operative. Amazing! You can give Lone Operative something. 
So if the character... Oh, and, 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 and stealth, which means you're... <laughs> Oh. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so so if the character has lone operative yeah. and they join a squad that does not have lone operative, does the squad have lone operative? No. Okay. No. Good. Yeah. <laughs> lone operative deadly knights. <laughs> Execute and redeploy. Bobo's model only. In your shooting phase after the bearer unit uh, has shot, if it's not within engagement range of one or more enemy is, it can make a normal move up to six. Amazing! Uh, if it does until the end of the turn, it's all able to charge. And you can't move one, one, one shooting phase. That's amazing. Moving twice is amazing. Yeah, it is. Um, Shadow War Veteran, uh, Phobos model only. Once per, it's backed. Once per battle. Okay. It's backed. Um, how many points does it cost? Uh, well, if we go by the back of the book. If we go by the back of the book, which we've already established is not reliable. Uh, but we have to use these for now. Is it not printed anywhere else? Uh, is it, is it called Vanguard? Again? Not Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard. Yeah. Uh, stealth, yeah. stealth and one operative is 15 points. X, the move again is 20 points. The Shadow War Veteran is 30 points. That's the infiltrate. That makes sense. And then... Uh, no, Shadow War no, Veteran is the no, CP. No. 30 points. Would 30, you pay 30, 30 points, points for CP. Fact? 30 points for Vect. Okay. Would you pay 30 points, points for Vect? Yeah. yeah. Even, even, with the, even with the change, yeah. Yeah. Um, you, don't but want, it's you, also, don't, you don't always want those Thunderbolt Cap moving 19 inches. Right? <laughs> uh, is that a battle tactic? Uh, no, it is not. And it is 2 CP. Oh, oh no! no wait, you, so you, you can't. You can't. You can't. Vector's not a battle tactic. You can only adjust the point cost of battle tactic. That those guys only have one battle tactic. Okay, so we have armor of contempt. It's over here. We have a deadly prize. Uh, in the start of your command phase, you can just uh, booby trap an objective that you're controlling. Mm. Uh, and plus D three mortal wounds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, surgical strikes. Uh, two command points. It's two command points. It's about that though, so it's free. Uh, your whole unit gets lethal. I mean, not lethal. Uh, precision. That's actually really good. Kill old Mephisto, Your kill old Abaddon. Your gets precision? Yeah. Yeah. That? Kill out Abaddon, kill out the thing that's bringing Mauls back. Like, they kill out all your buffs. It's, it, it's free. Because it's because it's about that. The, the um, heroic challenge stratagem, that says model, not unit, right? That's, um, that's model. Yeah. That's model. This is just, this is surgical. This is, those when those 10... Uh, Death Wing Knights infiltrate nine inches away from you, yeah. and they charge you turn one yep. uh, into your warlord, they're going to precision him dead right away. Yep. Or her, or equal opportunity assassins. Uh, strike from the shadows. I love this one. It's one command point. So long as you're shooting at an enemy and they're more than 12 inches away from you, um, you increase your blister skill by one and armor penetration by one. And you don't have to stand still. Yeah. And if one more malls were destroyed by that, you, uh, they, they, they forced to get a battle shock test. Wait, I could have swore there was a thing. Oh, infantry. Infantry only. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking about desolators. A fire line sight. Yeah. They, they ignore cover if they don't move. Um, they ignore the penalties. They're actually hitting. It's just a good desolator one. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good lot of thing one. Plus one, plus one, plus one AP. Plus one AP? Yeah. Is amazing one command point. It's a battle tactic. Yeah. So you do it twice if necessary. Uh, calculated faint. Uh, in your opponent's charge phase, a one a depth charge infantry can make a normal move of a d6. If you target scouts or phobos, it's six. So good, but better on scouts on phobos. What do you want? Doesn't anyway? Gladius have something like that? I believe so, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. And then guerrilla tactics at the end of your opponent's fight phase. Uh, for one command point, either two Phobos or Scout units, or one any Adeptus Sardis unit, can go into um, strategic reserves, so long as they're three inches away from the enemy. That's real. That's 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 a that's one of those game-winning stratagems. My Terminators that infiltrated up the field are all joking aside. I have a Terminator squad that struck deep way over in that corner of the table, did their thing. It's late game. I need them somewhere else on the, the turn the turn later. Um, any of you, my opponents fight phase back into strategic reserves, come back somewhere else. It, it takes a unit that's out of the fight, back in the fight. One command point, love the stratagem. So I love all of this. I'm pretty okay with this, and I like a lot of this. Yeah, there's a lot of neat I stuff. like this one. Gladius Task Force 1, it's D6 inches. Yep. Unless it's tactical, then it's 6 inches. Gotcha. And it's any infantry, or mounted. Or mounted. This is only infantry. Yeah, and then Phobos get the bonus from it, right? Yeah, Phobos and Scout. And scout. So at a at a five at a, at a, at a mountain, it's five five. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one. I want to give this five mountains. I'll give it four and a half because I think Firestorm should be only the five, but a five for me. This is for me for the fun factor. It's like three mountains, but for competitive, this is. 
Oh, fun factor, this could be this could be a five out of five. I want to see, because I want to see my opponent's face when they go, what the heck are these these 11 Terminators technically <laughs> are, are nine inches away from me? Like, yeah, what, what, am gonna the, what am I going to do? What am I going to do about no this? It's going to just kill you. It's going to set you up. Is it, are we going to see that in the it's competitive it's tournament? Difficult. Honestly, that's a, there's a potential. I'll let somebody else smarter than me figure that out. And you put them in cover? I wouldn't even bother. I'll just run the bright armor attempt. And cover. <laughs> So they get double armor of contempt. Essentially. Now, regular, you knew with any Terminator squad, really. You knew, but I, I love the innate minus one uh, damage from the Death of Knights. Minus one everything against them. Yeah, um, I love this one. Vanguard Strike, comment below. Solid. How do you want to use it? <laughs> All right, last one. First, come we task first. This is the one I don't like. Yeah, this time. This time. Well, uh, do, I, do I dislike this one more than Anvil? I actually, you know, I'll ask me again. I do. Okay, so this one, its special rule is the other half of Oath that we lost, once per game. So once per game, you can get reroll to wound against your Oath target. Your, That's a joke. That's your insulting. Your detachment rule should not have those three words at the beginning. What? Once per battle. Oh, right. Your detachment rule, I don't care what it is. I agree, thoroughly. This is bad. I hate this. I hate this. That is I'm not, not I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say it's bad, but I do hate this. Um, Imperium Sword. I don't even want to read any of this. I don't even care. I'll read. One. Well, okay. I don't want to read. I don't, I don't models care. only add one to the attacks characters of the bears, bears melee's weapons. Uh, once per battle. That word. No, this is actually pretty good. Uh, once per battle, at the start of any phase, the bear can use uh, this enhancement. Once per battle, you can get you get plus one attack. But at once per battle, phase, you get your whole bear squad can plus use one this attack. That's actually good. Yes. You get plus one attack, yeah, but once per battle, your whole squad does as well. It's good. It's not terrible. It's good. Fear made manifest. Um, it's an aura of six inches. When things feel battle shock within six inches of you, they also lose D3 models. Now, what units... Okay, so we build into, like, Reavers and other stuff that cause fear. <laughs> I know, you I know. You can't make me bring Reavers. What, what if they kill D3 of those... Of the, of the, I kill three of your uh, Deathwing Knights, but you failing a battle shock test, and then you get stronger because you failed the battle shock test. No, no, they wouldn't get stronger because we're playing. Oh yeah, we're, we're not. <laughs> we don't we don't play the Unforgiven Task Force. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's Death Wing or uh... Big or Spearhead, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> idiot. They're so sneaky. They're white and green armor. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I just like it's just I don't know. Sure. Great. If you wanted, there's a strategy if you that works be with it. Spooky scary boys. Then there's an enhancement for you. Yeah. It's right. Aura. Rates of War. Uh, Terminator model only. Improve the objective control characters for the bear by one. Once for battle, at the start of any phase, the bear can use this enhancement. If it does, add one to the OC characters all models in the bear's game. Again, that's not I bad. I, but I don't care. I, I don't care. I, it's not helping me boop things. No, this is. I so, need something that helps me this, boop things. This is so depressing. That helps me score points. I don't want to score points. I this, want to kill models. This is so depressing that it just oh. makes everything else go worse. Iron Resolve. Uh, Terminator model only. The bear has a field of pain 5 plus ability. Once per battle. <laughs> after you, your unit selected by attacks, you get a 5 field of pain. Again, that one is really good as well. Your whole squad gets a field of pain. Like. Like, I wish I could think again, once again, your Deathwing Knights, a uh, minus one damage and five up field of pain. I wish I could take Iron Resolve on a squad that also takes the blade driven deep. I wish I could just mix and match my army. But no, the best things from everywhere. But all joking all joking aside, Deathwing Knights want that one. Once per game, five up field of pain? Come on. Yeah, minus yeah. one damage? Well, there's, there's even more combos for the Deathwing Knights. Okay, we have Armor of Contempt. There you go. We have Heroes of the Chapter. I hate. I hate this. Okay, hold on. I need to calm down for a second. This is the problem with this detachment. Even though this is the problem with the detachment, but this is the other problem. Some hate really feels. This is this is the this is why I think the melee detachment and this detachment does not have does not have a plus one to wound stratagem. You want to? I want to play. Company, I want to play Terminators and Blade. I'm not. Guard? I'm not playing a Terminator army in in the in tenth edition without a plus one wound stratagem. No, technically we do got one. We are plus one to hit if we're below starting strength. Wait, wait. Um, yeah, if your unit is below half strength, then they get plus one to wound. This one is infuriatingly bad. You, 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 wanna... know, you know when it's even worse? When it's your army ability. Yeah, sure. But, <laughs> no, but Space Marines, they're, they're small model count. Yep. I'm not saying they're weak. Space Marines are powerful. Small model count. 
If you're gonna play this is leaning a little more melee, which is not already a great thing to do in 10th, um, your, your terminators have to tear down vehicles. And most attachments, most of them, um, either don't want you to- chain fist can you take in the terminator squad? Yeah, I'm not gonna kill somebody, let's knock it off. <laughs> most of them either have a reason to not take any melee units, or they have a plus one to wound strategy. There's only so many chaplains I can buy. I, no, the fact that they have no, like, I, honestly, a simple fix, if this if this was just plus one to wound instead of that, just give me plus one to wound instead of, here's the chapter, plus one to wound for this combat phase. I would consider possibly using this task force. You can't tell me to play Terminators and not give me a plus one to wound strategy. That's my big, I'll tell you, I'll drink inside, that's my big gripe. Yep. Terrifying proficiency. Um, in your fight phase, one Terminator, Blade Guard Veteran, Star Guard Veteran, or Vanguard Veteran Squad. Um, that made a charge move, and your opponent's next command phase, uh, things within six, take a battle shot text, minus one. Too many caveats, I'll use this strategy, but too many caveats. More often than not, I'll forget that I have this one. That needs I to synergize used. with Reavers. It's, it does synergize with Fear Man Manifest. How, how many squads have you killed with Reavers squads? Uh, how, I don't, who owns Reavers? I don't, th I don't think Games Workshop... Uh, apparently they're really good in kill teams. Sure, but I don't think Games Workshop actually produces them, because nobody's ever asked for them. They, don't even, they probably don't even make them. They don't even have a mold. No one's ever seen the mold. No, nobody has reavers. They don't exist. People buy them for got, their heads to cut them off. I got other stuff. I, know, I got so cool. many of them. <laughs> uh, duty and honor. One command point. In your movement phase, one terminator, blah, blah, blah. One elite thing. They get obsec. Um, yeah. That's actually really good. That's not bad. The problem if you're taking terminators, you're not taking intercessors, which have obsec. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Orbital teleport. This is another, it's another good one. Orbital teleportarium. In your opponent's fight phase, in your opponent's fight phase, uh, you take a unit of Terminators and put them back in the teleporter. Epi Downey. Legendary Fortitude. Uh, when you get charged, you spend a command point, you're minus one damage. It's only when you get charged. It's a good stratagem, though. Man, so minus two damage. We got good stratagem, good stratagem, good stratagem, good stratagem. Okay, strat like that's pretty good, and that's just that's it's, these two. It's things, not a bad stratagem. It's a stratagem you hate. So these <laughs> two things are so cripplingly depressing that they ruin the rest of the attachment for me. Yep. Now, I know not everybody's gonna agree with me. Somebody's gonna be like, oh, this is the best attachment, here's how I'm gonna play it, and it's gonna be great, enjoy it. This is just a feel bad or of a remnants of old. You, uh, ben said it perfectly, your, your attachment rule should not be a once per game thing. Yeah. Lame, if it's, that's not if fun. It's a, if it's a once per battle This thing. whole, this attachment feels like an afterthought. Like, oh, I'll just write something real quick. All right. And then but this is so close. depressed. And you need. But it was so close. You can't have you can't have terminators. Little. I mean, it doesn't have to be into wound. Just in the fight phase. Plus one to wound the fight okay, phase. Okay, here's a question for That's you. All you need. If they gave these guys old armor of contempt for this attachment only, would it be too powerful? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would just spend. <laughs> yeah, it would be. I would spend. <laughs> I would spam Terminators, and you can give me a strategy that is, uh, when I go attack my opponent, I'm minus one to win also. And I have to use it every turn. I would use that if I could have Old Armor Condemned in Contest of 10th Edition. Hell yeah, are you kidding me? That would be busted overpowered. You can double the point cost my Terminators if I play that. But what are you talking about? Those Terminators are going to start nine inches from my phone. That's, <laughs> that's true, I'd rather play that. No, that's true. Let's talk about the little things, right? So the fact that this is once per battle is, is depressing. Well, it's the little things that break it. It's true. Because it's like... All this has to be is plus one to win the fight we're phase. We're so close. Yeah. We're so close to having this being actually really interesting yeah. and fun. Because, because the problem... Here's the problem I'm having. Because much like... Much like... Um, the Stormlands Task Force, every time I try to make a list... Now, granted, my, my Dark Angel collection is far more extensive, and I actually have a lot of these... I have a lot of these types of units in my Dark Angels, so I can make this like crazy, right? I have tons of Deathwing. Every time I try to make this list, I look at it and go, huh, I might as well play... Um, Anything else? I might as well play uh, Always in Cover. I might as well play Advancing and Charge with Deathwing Knights. I might as well play um, uh, Advance and Shoot until I get there. Uh, plus one Strength with uh, ranged weapons. But more importantly, I get, um, I get this, plus one to Wound. Yep. Oh, uh, so for uh, Black Knights, like that's... Yeah, but the Black Knights are definitely, we're talking oh, about it. And then this one, yeah, this one's actually not bad. Uh, assault, Assault But more importantly, really I sure. might as well just play Gladius Task Force. Sorry, what were you saying? No, it's just like, um, for getting within 12 inches for shooting, the weapons having the assault ability for shooting, like, your best are probably your Black Knights. For shooting? For shooting. Well, weirdly enough, my Black Knights actually do love... 
all my black knights love all of this but i okay i want to be clear here i don't want to start any rumors um i packed away most of my firstborn stuff yeah including my black knights mm -hmm. because i'm gonna play i'm gonna play ultramarines for a bit and we know well things always change um it was like the road to the war 40k roadmap whatever the yeah. angels were gonna be in the spring so it's not that far away no and once i saw that all of the bikes this is pure again guys pure speculation on my part once i saw that all the bikes went away they're no longer part of the game i'm like oh you know what there's been rumors that dark are getting a range refresh we have new terminators there was that weird statement against tacticus black knights i think so yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking that's exactly what i'm thinking what do you think of the idea of tacticus thunderwolf why not okay so here's here's my concern with it is that wait hold on we're gonna wrap up this. So we're, gonna, okay. so we're done here. Well, uh, we'll, we'll get to the wrap up stuff that you, you want to get into. So, uh, my last thing. This thing is a one out of a five. No, five out of. Okay. You feel bad? Five out of five. This makes me feel that bad. How powerful is it? How weak is it? I don't think it's that weak. I that's feel, frustrating. I think it's and like that's three out of five. I'd say two. For me, it's also a two. It's, this is this is actually a one. I can't. I think I there's guys that have ideas. I can't they think can of make way, this work. Fair. I can't think of a way to make this work for my playstyle. It's just that this is stupid fun. Yep. Or sounds stupid fun. And at least, this is at least interesting. Yeah, I don't know. And this I think is crazy. <laughs> That's my thoughts on that. Let's get into wrap up stuff. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Final so, thoughts. So like wrap it up. If we're gonna see Tacticus bikes. Potentially, but I think we are. We're just speculation. We're speculation. So, Tacticus Thunderwolf Cav, I'm worried that they would have to upscale everything. Why not? Sure, go ahead. But, like, I feel like Primaris scale models don't look right on wolves. Riding wolves. Yeah, that'd be fine. The wolves are bigger, that's all. That, if they replaced Fenrir and wolves I, I, with I just big Thunderwolves? I promise you, if they actually redid Thunderwolf Cav in a bigger scale, you're gonna love, we're all, we will all love, there'll be so many more players, we would we'll all love them. Thunderwolf the Cav got me days, into 40k. Yeah. Really? Uh, Yes, I know everybody hates the wolfy wolfiness. I, love the wolfiness. I thought I thought Vikings in power armor riding giant wolves into battle in the future. I thought that was super metal, and I was like, ah, I'm sold. Well, it was just historical, right? This happened in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Harold Heldrada, yeah, just riding. Are giant you upset? Wolf. Are you upset? Bikes are gone. Are you upset? Most of the speeders, the old speeders, are gone. No, because these new speeders do everything you need them to, yep. and you could essentially run the old speeders as the new speeders. There's only one I, dreadnought. I would, if, if a guy brought the old speeders and he's like, I'm playing because the, the like this speeder has the assault cannon, so it has the Gatling cannon. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely, man. I love that Invader ATVs can join them. I love that they can go to the six. I hate how the Invader ATVs look too much. <laughs> it's just so ugly. Are the are the um, Tech Marines and cannons? Are they mounted? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean mounted? Oh, do they have the mounted no. keyword because <laughs> they can move. And it's the guy sitting in his seat. Buddy, how, how would you make that work? It could advance it. It could advance a charge. How you know, shut up. <laughs> they're, they're bad. I don't know why I bought them, but I'm going to paint but them. But you now. bought all four of them. I bought all four. <laughs> I would have bought six of the N60 stock. <laughs> I can't find them. They can reroll eight. Yeah, what section are they're they? They're probably going to be. There they are. Okay. Do they have mounted. Knock it off. There's no way they have mounted. They're vehicles. Vehicle? They're vehicles. Okay. So. So, toughness six, two up save. Uh, six wounds. Only six wounds. Three, uh, the overwatch on four, but that's a command point sink, right? Um, you're just better off buying a predator. For the, I bought, so I squatted two of these 160 points. I'll just buy a predator for 130. <laughs> this, this is bad. The predator is way more resilient and way more mobile. It doesn't have twin link. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it does have less skill two plus. Yeah, yeah. Think, think. If but I play them in plus one HP, I play, I play them... <laughs> and plus one hit infantry, anyways. Is it strength nine? Yeah, because auto cans went up to strength nine. I did. Talk it off. Okay, um, okay. Get this. Nothing heavy. So, nothing heavy. All nothing auto heavy. cannons. Nothing heavy. Nothing heavy. Nothing heavy. Nothing heavy. Nothing. Like heavy's gone everywhere. So that's why I don't like that anvil siege. Yeah, but everything's well, heavy now. Well, repulsor executioner. If I remember correctly. His main gun is heavy. So if this guy stays put, he gets plus one to win with a strength 16 gun. And then we'll siege. So all the toughness side rhinos, you'll wound on twos. All the other repulsors, you'll wound on twos. All the knights, you'll wound on twos. So in a direct comparison of what we lost, is Anvil... 
not that this is a good comparison, but we're going to do this anyway. Anvil Siege. Is it worth the loss of just having old oath a moment and gladius? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> what? What, are you what argument are you trying to make? No, no. Okay, I never said we're, it was we're amazing. I said there's ways we're, to make it we're, work. We're laughing. And, 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 and the, the, the hilarious thing is, I think there's way more good than bad. I don't think. Oh, okay, yeah. the, the, I like the attachments more than like the tier attachments. But what is actually hilarious is there's hundred really? percent. I think so, yeah. I think 100% there are people screaming out the, the, their screens right now going, but you haven't thought of this, which makes Anvil Siege so good, or the first company strike force so good because of blah. Just do this. Do it. Do it. Tell me do about it. it. I'll, tell me about it and I will do it. I'm just saying it weren't, they weren't as obvious to me as say. Are we going to have a day where you do a probably subscriber li uh, list? Oh, no. Uh, no, we've tried that. Without fail every time. Uh, the always make lists with such, such obscure things. I don't have them. Like I have to have two and a half brutal dreadnoughts. Two and a half a dreadnought. They always make stuff. Can you put something up on the community with a list of them all? As you have to make a list. Yeah, I've done that, and they always uh, can't read. Um, <laughs> the obvious power of the firestorm assault force so good. The obvious fun of this. I can't wait. I can't wait to do this. It's so wild, man. But I can't wait to run and charge everywhere with. Thunderwolf Cav moving 19 yeah, inches. Yeah, okay. 19 so, inch moving Thunderwolf Cav. I don't, know enough about, really I don't know enough about Blood Angels. I don't know what Blood Angels want to do. I don't know if they want theirs or something else more. Okay, so. Maybe Blood Angels want this. So, how many of these stratagems need mounted? Like, need uh, I think mounted. three. Mounted, mounted, mounted. These three. Okay. So, otherwise, they get Armor Snap, which they already get. They don't care about this one. Blitzing Fusion and Lodge. This one is probably pretty good for them. So they basically get no stratagems. But, to be fair, the best strategies of the game are Armor Contempt, Grenades, and Tank Shock. So you don't need these strategies. You don't need So maybe, uh, Blood Angel Flares, which attachment do you want to use? Uh, Dark Angel Flares, are we, are we Vanguards? <laughs> are we Vanguards? Or are we Stormlands? We just run our Terminators over when there. Those, when those Deathwing Knights maybe Storm Lance or Dark fail a, what, uh, nine inches away, four inch charge. <laughs> when they fail a four inch charge on turn one, I'm I would consider. I would consider. Uh, I wish Lee was still here. I need. I need a. I need a person with amazing sculpting skills. I would put the money into and time into painting a squad of ten Deathwing knights that are on their tiptoes, tiptoeing along. I have so many. Oh, can, it's so much I cutting. <laughs> it's so much. We're sneaky. Do do, do do. Uh, but I, way more good than bad. I just this one. This one upsets me the most. No, this one. Anvil Siege, I think, is actually pretty good, just not in the context of 10th. I think you need to move and shoot. Move, move and score. Move, shoot, score. Yeah, you do. If you can't be stationary. I think this, I think this incentivizes you to making bad decisions. Well, yeah, that's me. My prediction... My, yeah. <laughs> my prediction, not that this matters, because um, whatever, right? Uh, we'll see, we'll see um, a GT1 eventually by somebody using Gladius Strike Force again. Yeah. We will never see somebody win a GT. Not that this matters, it's just talk. I think we'll never see this win a GT. I don't think you'll see this win a GT with more than 30 people in it. Uh, wait. I think I I'm talking, okay, so we're afraid so, uh, if there's, if a, there's a major, a, three... a major. A ma this can win a major. Okay. Could. I'm not saying it will, I'm saying it could. I say this can't win a major. Okay. Um, not that it can. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm saying anybody who's skilled enough to win a major is not going to is be smart enough not to use that. I don't think this is either, but this could be fun. So I can see some guy just goofing his way to the top. So maybe. Well, this would be an off metal. You know, to be fair, to be fair, this this can be very hard to fight against for some armies. If you're speaking all comers list, and, like sisters can't fight this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I this okay. I can see. This I predict. This is our new dominating one. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I've been wrong. I'll be wrong again. I think this it's is the wild. This is the, this is the good that one. Is wild. This one I can see some like special list that I want to do a certain thing. The, I can see there this will be some guys that find their way to the top with. I think list. so. Yes. Um, this one as well. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Some guys are gonna be like it's gonna be something this, uh, somebody didn't prep for in their practice games. This one I hope no. That's how much. That's how much. That's how much. This, this is the me. new meta list for Space Marines. Well, I'm not saying it's terrible because maybe it, maybe it is the new meta. I mean, it could be. I'm saying maybe it is. I just these upset me so. Well, sorry, this upsets me so just much. Three words. And the lack of no no plus one to wound strategy. Um, because this wants melee because it wants those specific units. Yeah. This this is a very this forces you to do melee. 
Whereas no other detachment here. Okay, uh, what about Gilliman? What about Gilliman and the first company task nah, force? Because he can. Because once per game, he. All right, I tried. No, he's he so really expensive. Much. I don't think he's almost expensive. He's wants for what you're getting. Yeah. All right, uh, that's it. Um, I think. I think. I know we said a lot of negative. We did a lot of goofing. I actually, I think we saw a lot of positives. I I love this book. I I'm, think this. Looks I like am fun. so okay, guys. I'm gonna tell you, everybody. I have been I have been a little down on tenth edition, uh, not because of what tenth edition is. It's just I was really feeling the lack of a codice. Yeah, we only had Tyranids. Now we get the second one, and now I'm super pumped again. This one has got me. I've been painting like cray, bro. I've been painting so many Ultramarines. Cray, 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 cray. Uh, I am super. This got me super excited. I'm super. Not that. Not this. Not this. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> this has got me so super excited to play. I can't wait to play all these detachments. I can't actually. I'm excited to think when the dreadnoughts all come in. I, I want. I want to do a whole bunch of space with dreadnoughts. Oh. Oh. You still have those shieldy ones. Yeah. They have invulns. Yeah. No. This Codex baseballs. I'm spitting everywhere. Two of the detachments are. And they so this looks so like I don't, I don't want you to win. I don't. I, I, I know you don't. I know you. I don't. want you to maintain your luck. I, I don't, don't want you to have good things. Wolves, unless I'm playing primary space wolves, where at that point I'm not really. I agree. Space wolves. Yeah, you're not space wolves. Um, so like. Yeah. No, actually, you're right. I want to see space wolves do this one and this one. They're gonna do very well both. Those. Mur Murder Fang, getting to do all sorts. of... I get venerable dreadnoughts too. I get Wolf and Dreadnoughts and Venerable Dreadnoughts. Are Venerable in your in your book? In my index. In your index. Interesting. I think I'm the only one that has Venerable Dreadnoughts. Interesting. Um, Exciting thing. Blood Angels, Librarian Dreadnoughts. Blood Angels players, I want... Uh, that's what I want to see in the comments. Blood Angels, no. um, Black Templar. Oh, yeah. Oh, Black Templar will like a lot of these different ones. Yeah, they, they can do pretty much anything here. Yeah. They are very flexible. Yeah. They want to fight. Well, I uh, the, I have one more request before we end this up. Uh, any, any more thoughts? Sorry. I'm sure I have thoughts. I don't know All what right, they are. Audience, you guys got to keep me honest. You're going to have to let me know when I've played too many Ultramarines this time to stop and play something else. Uh, well, I'm we'll break I'm... this up with me playing the Space Wolves. No, what I'm worried is I, I just want to play this over and over and over again. That people are like, all right, Steve, enough of the Ultramarines. Mm. You're going to have to let me know when enough is enough, or Ben probably will. Well, why don't we play one of each detachment? I'm planning on it, bro. <laughs> Well, uh, well, are, are you gonna do? Are you gonna do the first company first to get it over with? I'm not doing that one. I figured <laughs> he's at the, each of the attachments. Are you gonna make me run the first I, company? I, I will. I will. I will do all these attachments. Not this one. I will. I will run first company detachment. I will do it. For the people. You know what? Weirdly enough, that I'm, I'm gonna keep going back to it. I'm, I'm, I'm circling back to the same old thing. Uh, I saw this as my Dark Angel uh, Raven Wing attachment. Yep. And this as my. Um, uh, Death Attachment. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I want to play either one of these at all. At all. I would literally rather play this one, and I think this is the weakest one. But, but never fear. That's amazing. Uh, it's that's amazing. This like okay. that's amazing. <laughs> the thing about Gladius. This is your baseline. No, it's so good. This is your this is this is your space marines. This is your Adeptus Astartes. This is this this is the this is your ultra. This is this is what they do. This is your ultramarines. This is your I don't know space sickles. I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know the other like basic chapters. Your black dragons. All, all your I know, offshoot I, chapters, I know what I they're think. just I think in a gladius strength. When I think of like your basic space marine, the first thing that pops in my head is like the black dragons. And then sometimes the ultramarines pop in my head. I These are your cacao. Four of the five right of the viewers okay, right which, now. Which one no, of four of the five viewers right now have never heard of the black dragons. But you're going to look it up now. <laughs> they're gonna look them up now. They're Carcharodons. Nobody knows the Carcharodons. It's the space sharks. You know, <laughs> the Carcharodons. You know, I'm so glad you're the what are the what are the crying guys? The lamenters. The crying guys. The, they're lamenting. The lamentations. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video. Goodbye. Uh, everybody. Bye. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. There will be plenty more to watch upcoming and plenty more already on the channel to watch if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's really helpful for the channel. Comment below. Engage with Algorithmo. Helps with the channel a whole bunch. And think about joining the channel. There is a join button right next to the subscribe button. So I know you already clicked that button. 
Uh, learn about everything you get from becoming a channel member, access to Discord and a bunch of other extra videos. We're gonna think of uh, some people over here scrolling by. These are the Rock Jocks and Peak Supporters. They're higher tier channel members that uh, they do a lot to help this channel keep it going. Can't do without each and every one of these people over here. Super appreciate them all. See you in the next one, guys. Happy Wargaming.